everybody! Look at my screen! Look at it! Look! That is the last ATV transmission I need! Hello everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival! I haven't had any luck getting transmissions so I just bought some caps, I sat down here, wasn't even recording it for once, normally I record every time I'm going at it with the caps. The one time I don't record, and we got it! Look! Look at that! So, if we go to here, look at this, ATV transmission, there we go. Right, let's just go straight, I can't believe we got that. That's awesome. And I think, to celebrate, there's no better way than to do a giveaway. So, everyone, comment something below. Something positive, something nice, something happy. Just don't comment anything mean, really. Leave a comment below, and I will be picking a comment at random, and the winner will get a £10, um, $10 probably, that'd be easier, iTunes, no, nah, actually, let's go £10, that's more than a $10, a £10 iTunes slash Play Store gift card. We got it! <laughs> Finally! Alright, let's grab our other ATV transmission, which we have got hiding in the safe there. There we go. And I think we should get ourselves... Actually, you know what? First up, let's just... Let's do this. This is gonna be nice. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna wait until it's daytime in-game. Ah, I don't want to wait. We're waiting until daytime so we can see it better. I'll see you all in a minute. Alright, we're back. We've got some nice interesting shadows in the game. The sun is rising. It's not direct ahead. And we have got our ATV and... One. Yes! Look at that! We can click the finalise button! Ah, oh, let's do it. Boom! We've final up with... We've built an ATV. Right, I'm going to mod my weapons quickly and we are going straight over to the swamp. I've got a bunch of guns on me and, as you can see, a lot of hatchets. I'm going in Kevlar armour. I am going fully prepared. I have deliberately not watched any videos at all about the swamp, so I do not know what to expect apart from ash. We are going to be getting a bunch of ash. I can't wait. This is going to be so good. I'm going to need to grab some food as well so I don't starve to death whilst we're out there. Let's get a tin of beans and we'll top ourselves up before we leave as well. There we go. Right. Let's go to the swamp. Ah! We're doing this. Finally. How can I... Can I interact with you or do you just sit there? Here we go. The gas tank is empty. Do I fill you up at the back? I do. Okay, let's get some petrol. I really hope it doesn't use tons of fuel, but to be fair, I've got a lot of fuel anyway. Let's stick 20 in there and see what that does. Oh my god, this is so good, I can't believe we've finally got the ATV. So it takes... It takes 20 to fill up exactly. Right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love this, it's so good. Listen to that engine purr. Oh, I'm going to be so gutted if the audio doesn't sound... Right, I'm actually going to pause the recording quickly and check the audio. Okay, audio is perfect. We are going to make our way over to the watchtower. An ATV has to be used on impassable terrain. I don't know... Ooh, I don't know what we need to take to that watchtower. Can we put a generator on the AC? You know what? Let's just go and find out. Over we go. Look at our little tank going along. Isn't it so cool? And look, we also now have a lovely oak forest that's a lot closer to the base. Instead of having to go all the way there for it. Let's take a look at the new watchtower. Hand to hand fight. Not all zombies are as terrible as imagined in popular culture. Some of them can be killed even with bare hands. Excellent. Good to know. I don't care. I want to go and chop down some... This is nice. Keep out. Requires crowbar. Have I got a crowbar? I haven't got a crowbar on me. Oh, maybe I should have checked what I needed. All right, um, let's do a quick zoomy out and have a look. There is a generator there. It looks like we're just gonna need to turn it on. Okay, we've got this. Back to the base and then once more back over here. Okay, we're back over here. Now, I think that that 
big boss thing is going to be quite difficult to kill. So I've actually got myself some fully modded scars to try and get it dead. And I'm going to turn this down so I can hear a bit better. Can we just... Okay. We need to repair that. Kind of wishing I had actually maybe looked at a video and checked all of this stuff. Oh, okay. So swamp water. These guys are going to be a bit harder to avoid. And I can't actually even run. How much damage do you do? Okay, you don't do too much damage. I'm just going to kill you. Soz bro. Oof. Please don't do a super powerful hit after that. Good, you don't. You're just doing 32 meat and Kevlar armor. That's a lot of damage. And we've used an entire scar to kill you. Ow. You are a very strong zombie. Right, what do we need to complete this? Five wrenches, 50 bolts, 40 wire. I think we've actually got everything in our inventory to do this. Like from our inbox. Let's give it a go. Boom. Topographic data loading. Look at that. We've unlocked it. There we go. Right. We are going straight over into the new locations. Right. Let's grab these out. And we are going to stash away a few bolts, a few wrenches. And I think that will do nicely. Off we go. Oh, I'm so excited. We've finally done it. <sighs> I just want to get enough lead so I can build that statue. And, and here we are. Two new locations. We have got the Swamp Forest. And the Wild Bogs. We're obviously going to the Wild Bogs. So we have to use the ATV here. We haven't got any choice. And looking in the inventory of the ATV, it looks like we are going to be able to upgrade it. Because currently it only has four slots. Now that strikes me as very odd. It should definitely have a lot more than that. Is this going to be our ash tree? Oh, and I see another plant icon there as well. It takes a lot of hits to break this tree. Two ash logs. There we go. Boom. Beautiful. Right. I am probably going to try and do a bit of grinding now. I'm going to... What are you? Are you those plant things to make spices? Sprout. Yes, you are. Perfect. Right. Oh, I heard something that sounded like a snake. This is so cool. We can run here. And there's so really tall plants. They're called cattails, I think. I like this. This is very nice. Actually, you know what? Because we've got a full inventory, we can throw ourselves on auto. And now as soon as this hatchet breaks, we'll split that. There we go. We've got ash. We have actual ash in our inventory. And because that's all we've got, plus the sprouts, we're just going to run around getting ash and sprouts. That's perfect. I see our first enemy over there. Some swamp looking creature. I don't doubt. Okay, yeah, so we definitely can't sprint in this location. Oh, I see a box over there. Now, I think I heard something about the swamp boxes being different. They have different loot in them. Or, yeah, okay, so. Swamp floater, squeaker. No, I do not want to get hit by a thing called a squeaker. Screecher, whatever that was. And, okay, so that one's just standard box. We've got another one. Z's. We get corn seeds here. I've been missing out on corn seeds. Can't be doing that. I'm sorry, almost broken hatchet, but... Tainter? Do these drop anything different? No. There is a lot of swamp bloaters here. Oh, but I like this. Now, come on, are we going to get something interesting here? Some lead, maybe? No. So we can get lead in these boxes, I believe. Ooh, what are you? Can I? Drilling rig. To mine ore, you need a car battery. I've got loads of car batteries. I just haven't got them here with me. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is new. Hello. That's sulphur. 
And that's that's that peat stuff, isn't it? That's peat we've got there. Right, okay, let's see if I've got a shovel or a metal pick. I have neither. However, we do have a little box here. So that's sulfur there. That's how we're going to be getting all the sulfur. And we use sulfur to craft. I think sulfur is just for explosives. No, sulfur's not used in explosives. Aha, sulfur for the hydroponic system. And we need five more for that. Okay, we're going to have to work on that. Right, inserts here, time lapse of me farming lots of trees. Welcome back. It has officially been over an entire day since that last clip and in that time I have been going to the swamp quite a bit and doing a bit of mining there. So we have got in total now let's take a look almost a hundred ash planks. We have got 37 peat. We have got quite a bit of sulfur and I even made some fuel briquettes. So, what I think we need to do first is upgrade one of our racks. And I've, I was trying to decide what one to do, because to be honest... Oh, I actually have room there now. I had run out of space in my food rack. But, I think realistically, this rack and this rack are going to have to be the first ones I upgrade. So, in here is where I keep all my best stuff. And in here is where I keep my other best stuff. So we are going to upgrade 
this one. And boom. So see how it's still full? As soon as we click sort, boom. We now have two extra empty rows in there. Everything has now got an increased stack size of five. So let's take a look and we, does it cost the same to upgrade? We could upgrade it again. But I think what we need, what I want to focus on is if we look down here for the hydroponic system or the chemistry station. It contains everything you need for making explosives. I don't need to make explosives at the moment, that's the thing. I think we're going to go for the hydroponic system. And for that we just need 20 plastic, 5 light bulbs, 15 batteries. Because let's face it, the hydroponic system looks pretty cool. Right, plastic, plastic, plastic. I, <laughs> I've i gone through and I've been deleting items en masse. And I've cleared up so much space in my base. I don't think... I've got plastic in my own box, but that's a bit drastic to grab it out. Okay, right, one second. We have the plastic and... Boom! We have the hydroponic system. Where are we looking for this? Here we go. Place on the iron floor. Okay. That's interesting. Has to be on a stone floor. I was a um, metal floor. I was kind of hoping to have it outside. Um, what I think we will do is we'll grab that green box and we will throw you there. And let's have our lovely hydroponic system. Up there now in the hydroponic system I believe we plant the sprouts these things so let's go and see if we can make ourselves some more spices open recipes we turn three sprout into spice and then using the 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 the, the, the I forgot what it's called chemistry station you can turn the spices into anti-radiation pills However, the chemistry station has to be powered by one of the gas cylinders. So, it's going to be a little while before we can start using this, because I'm going to need to start going to Bravo again to get more cylinders. I think I have one at the moment. Right. We've still got 38. Hmm. Have I got any more? Alright, I haven't got any more maple. I've got a lot of sulphur. I'm probably going to stop farming the sulphur for now and focus on purely getting the ash. Speaking of which, I need to top it up and get the rest of that. Refining? Yeah, refining. Right, where are we looking? Beautiful. Beautiful. It takes 40 minutes per ash plank and it's five logs to one plank, which is a lot. That is very painful to do. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is, hello, end off the video here. And next episode, we are going to be heading back out to the swamp and seeing if we can get ourselves some lead. So thank you very much for watching, people. I'm so happy I've finally gotten the ATV. It's awesome. Definitely worth the grind. Thank you for watching, people. I hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. Bye.